It's a day many in East Knoxville have been looking forward to, revitalization of the Walter P. Taylor housing development. Knoxville's Community Development Corporation is planning to start tearing down some of the buildings at 8 a.m. tomorrow. As Local 8 News reporter Hillary Magos shows us, it's a move they hope will cut down on crime. Jodacia Jones has lived most of her life in the Walter P. Taylor low-income housing development, but she tells me living here isn't easy. It was a lot of crime. They shoot every night. Every night it never fails. You hear gunshots out here. And it could be for no reason. They just shooting in the air. To help with that, Knoxville's Community Development Corporation is tearing down 183 of Walter Peace's 500 units, part of the revitalization of the entire Five Points neighborhood. We do believe that when you lessen the density of a site, it does make it a little bit easier for the police department to police that area. I think it also helps uh, improve local individuals uh, who live within that community. David Ricketts lives a block away on Center Avenue. If they can get out, get all the riffraff out, yeah, it would help. I mean, it would be a good. Thing. KCDC tells me those forced to move because of the project could live in other low-income housing nearby or they could use Section 8 housing vouchers. And this is just phase one. KCDC plans to tear down the rest of the Walter P. units in the future and then rebuild. So the qualifications to live in public housing will be identically the same uh, then as it will be today. No, that will not change. What he hopes will change, the attitude. People will take greater pride in where they live. But Jones isn't so sure. The crime, I don't think it's going to change too much because it's still going to be the same people out here. In Knoxville, Hillary Magosh, VLT Local 8 News. There's no timetable and timeline on how long the total demolition of Walter P. will take.